Nearly four years since Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow disappeared. More than three years since she was arrested in Hawaii. And about four weeks since the trial began and less than 24 hours since the jury began deliberating. Lori Vallow Daybell is convicted in the murders of her children and her husband's ex-wife. The defendant would please rise. In regards to count one of the amended indictment, is Lori Noreen Vallow not guilty or guilty of conspiracy to commit first degree murder of Tylee Ryan and grand theft by deception? Answer, guilty. The clerk and Judge Stephen Boyce's Ada County, Idaho courtroom read six unanimous guilty verdicts just after one this afternoon. Joining us live from outside the courthouse in Idaho is anchor Roland Barris from our Scripps sister station, KIVI. Thanks for being with us, Roland. Yeah, anytime, Robin and Max, uh, it's good to be with you. You know, Larry and Kay Woodcock were the first to emerge from the Ada County Courthouse behind me after the verdict was read, as you mentioned, guilty across the board. And in their typical form, they had uh, an upbeat response, really. Larry's always been very upbeat, but this response tempered, of course, by the memory of his lost grandkids. <laughs> Jubilation on the courthouse steps. We will, we will Larry Woodcock, the grandfather of murdered six year old J.J. Ryan, greeted by J.J.'s favorite song as he and his wife walked to the podium. J.J., I love you. Papa. Papa, wish you were here. In other circumstances, Tylee, Papa loves you. Tammy, I never met you. Tammy, you are part of our life. Even the Woodcocks weren't certain of a guilty verdict on all six counts, but they got exactly what they wanted. I do believe since it's Mother's Day weekend, the Friday before, and I do believe that the, the verdicts today are just what I think everybody, everything aligned in the universe, and this is what you call poetic justice. Larry Woodcock cheered the investigative team that worked with the prosecutor as they walked away and thanked them for their service, saying everyone from the jury to the judge and even the defense did a great job. I hope that y'all appreciate so much the court system how meticulous, how meticulous the, the prosecution was. I think everybody will, will agree it was, it was amazing job by all of them. It was amazing enough to get a guilty verdict on all counts. Now, of course, the death penalty was taken off uh, the uh, case here in uh, Boise, and uh, so likely Lori's going to spend uh, the rest of her life in prison. Sentencing is expected in the next few weeks. Robin, Max? Roland, I want to ask you, was it surprising that the defense called not one witness to the stand, nor Lori, and do you think that that hurt their case at all? Um, you know, I talked to some attorneys in town, prominent attorneys who say it, it was not a, a, a bad idea, it was not surprising necessarily. There were a few cases, a few instances where key points seemed to be made during the trial where they sh maybe could have been countered instead of letting that sit in the juror's mind. It was countered in the you know, closing arguments by the defense, but maybe that let things go for too long. Um, you know, you can argue until the cows come home on that one if you're a lawyer, but uh, either way, um, it turned out to be across the board guilty. Back to you. One more question for you, Roland. You know, there was a lot of evidence presented in this case. Do you think there was something yeah. in particular that was the breaking point that really decided for the jury to find her guilty? Gosh, you know, that is tough. It's all circumstantial, really. You know, and this is not a case where you have a, a murder weapon or you know for certainty that, you know, someone was killed on a specific date even. Pretty difficult to tell, but it was the accumulation, I think, really, of evidence. And the, the prosecution did a masterful job of putting 
thousands and thousands of texts and emails together in such a way that it directed the jury right towards conspiracy and murder, and they had no doubt. Roland Barris, thank you very much.